Hi boys and girls, today is Thursday, October 1st, and today we are going to read a book about apples, and who can tell me what letter the word apple starts with? Very good, A for apple, we're going to make an A in the air with our fingers, so we're going to go up, come back down, and a line through the middle, that's capital A. So our book today is called 10 Apples Up on Top by Dr. Seuss. Do you see any A's in the title? Let's look at the word 10. Are there any A's? Nope, let's keep going. What's that? Capital A, A for Apple. As we read the book, I want you to listen really carefully to see if you hear any rhyming words. So rhyming words are words that sound the same at the end. Okay, so let's start. 10 Apples Up on Top by Dr. Seuss. One apple up on top. See, the lion has an apple on top of his head. Two apples up on top. Look you, I can do it too. So you and two are rhyming words. Look, see, I can do how many? One, two, three. Three, three, I see, I see. What do you think the dog's gonna do next? You can do three, but I can do more. You have three, but I have four. One, two, three, four. He added an apple. Three plus one is four. Look, see now, I can hop with four apples up on top. Hop and hop. And I can hop up on a tree with four apples up on me. Look here, you two. See here, you two. I can get five on top. Can you? Okay, now the tiger has one, two, three, four, five apples. They keep adding apples. I am so good, I will not stop. Five, now six, now seven on top. Seven apples up on top. I am so good, they will not drop. Five, six, seven, fun, fun, fun. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. He counted backwards. But see, we are as good as you. Look, now we have, how many apples do they have? Seven, two. And now see here, how many apples do you think are on top of their head? And how can you find out? You can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight on top. Eight apples up. Not one will drop. Eight, eight, and we can skate. Look now, we can skate with eight. I heard 
heard some rhyming words there. Did you? Gates and what number? Gates. But I can do nine and hop and drink. You cannot do this, I think. We can, we can, we can do it too. See here, we are as good as you. We are all very good, I think. With nine, we all can hop and drink. Drink and think. What comes after nine? Let's see, nine is very good, but then Come on, and we will make it 10. How did they make it 10? They had nine, and they added one more apple on top to make 10. Look, 10 apples up on top. We are not going to let them drop. Look out, look out. I see a, what rhymes with drop? A mm, mop. I will make the apples fall. Get out, get out, you one and all. I don't know, what do you think? Do you think the apples are gonna drop? Come on, come on, come down this hall. We must not let our apples fall. Out of our way, we cannot stop. We cannot let our apples drop. This is not good. What will we do? Look at the the birds, the seagulls. What are they trying to do? They want to get our apples too. They will get them if we let them. Come, we cannot let them get them. They're gonna run away. Look out, the mop, the mop, the mop. Oh no, the bear followed them. You cannot stop our apple fun. Our apples will not drop, not one. I know they're doing a pretty good job of keeping those apples on their head. Come on, come on, come one, come all. We have to make the apples fall. <gasps> Look, they're all gonna try to make the apples fall. They must not get our apples down. Come on, come on, get out of town. And they're trying to run away. Apples, apples up on top. All of this must stop, stop. fun is going to stop. Uh-oh. Our apples all are going to drop. Why are they going to drop? <gasps> what happened? Look! Ten apples on us all. What fun! We will not let them fall. The end. Lots of good rhyming words in that story, right? And we did some adding. So now we're gonna do a little activity. And I attached everything to the email that you received, so you should be able to do this activity. I used an egg carton instead of a muffin tin, but you can use a muffin tin or an egg carton 
four cups, individual um, little cups, and I put the apples, the numbered apples inside. So you're gonna need 12 spots. Um, if you don't have a printer, your child can draw some apples and cut them out. They can practice writing their numbers on them. And then you will need something to count with. So I have some red, yellow, and green pom-poms to represent apples. And I have my apple counting cards because I don't have a dice. But if you have two dice, then you can use those. So I'm going to use my cards right now. And the way this works, so you have your egg carton with your numbers, your counters. If you don't have pom-poms, you can use anything that's easy to pick up. So you can use beans or seeds. Um, if you have pom-poms, you can use the pom-poms. And then they're gonna need something to pick the pom-poms or the seeds up with. So whatever you have at home, you can use tongs. You can use a clothespin. You can use tweezers, real tweezers. Or you can use child-sized tweezers, okay? The idea is that they're gonna use their pincer grip to work on their fine motor skills. So I'm gonna pick a number card and I'm gonna need your help at home. If you can tell me what number did I pick? And if you can't tell me the number, you can count the seeds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight seeds, that's the number eight. Now I'm gonna look in my muffin tin or my egg carton. And I'm gonna look for the number eight. Can you find the number eight for me? Nope. Right there, number eight. So I'm gonna count eight pom-poms. I'm gonna use my tweezers, and I'm gonna pick them up. I'm gonna say one, you can count with me, two, three, four, pom-poms in one of my trays. Okay, oops, one of them fell out. Here we go, eight pom-poms. Let's try one more number. Okay. What's this one? Remember, if you can't tell me the number, we can count the seeds. So I have two. Now I'm gonna use, what color should I use? Red, green, or yellow? I like red apples, so I'm gonna count red. I'm gonna find number two on my tin, in my egg carton here. There it is, I don't know if you can see it. Okay, and I'm gonna count out two red apples. One, two. Okay, and you can do this until all of your spots are full of apples. And that's it. And then if you wanna do another fun activity after, you can do some patterning, right? I know Miss Herman did patterning yesterday with you. So I can do green, red, let me put back here so we can green, red, green, red. What will go next? Remember, it repeats. Green, red, green, red, green. And how many pom-poms do I have? One, two, three, four, five. And how many would I have if I add one more red? So I had five, right? And I'm adding one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So five plus one is six. Okay, so these are just some fun activities you could do to extend um, math skills, counting skills, patterning. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the story and the activity, and I, we can't wait to see pictures of you guys doing a math activity. Okay, have fun!